Kinder episode three. Straight off the bat, Pease Davidson gives such an assured performance in this. Uh, you compare him to Four to Doomsday, and he's just so assured. Uh, it's like two watching two very different Doctors. I, clearly, the material here suits him much better. He's given some very intelligent things to say, and he rises to the occasion brilliantly, just as he always does when he's brilliantly written. Uh, you had two stunning performances in this episode. Simon Rouse, uh, who plays a, a psychotic more convincingly than any other Doctor Who I, I can remember. Just the way he's so unpredictable, he comes across as very dangerous. And that kind of childish streak that's running through him, ooh, I just had chills watching him. And uh, the scenes of him building the city. For once, Adric actually feels like he fits in perfectly because it's three children playing together. So those scenes, they just have an edge to them that I'm unaccustomed to in Doctor Who. Uh, I really like how not everything is immediately explained in this story. Uh, it's unusual for an early 80s story to treat its audience um, quite as intelligently as this. Uh, I was quite impressed by that. Uh, plenty of chest hair on display. Um, sorry, I realise this is becoming kinky Doctor Who rather than happy Doctor Who, but there we go. Uh, my love for Neris Hughes has no bounds. I think her chemistry with Peter Davison is awesome and she should have been the sole companion throughout the Peter Davison era, hands down. Uh, it's a really well thought culture a well thought out culture on Deep Loka. Um, essentially, the the story is the Doctor and Todd unpeeling this culture a bit at a time. You know, it's very impressive as well. There's a history there. There's myths, legends, humor. It's just very well charted. Um, it's a shame that the exteriors don't look particularly convincing. Again, it's another one, because of the height and performances, that you should perhaps look at this as a stage play rather than a piece of television. But the interiors are very well designed and very impressive, I have to say. And the other performance that really stood out is Mary Morris. It is performances like that. That's the reason why we still watch Doctor Who all these years later. Just stunning performance with weight and gravitas. You know, I could not keep my eyes off her. Uh, and the set piece at the end of this, no other show would offer you a set piece like that. It is trippy and weird. The, the direction, the direction of this entire story is full of lovely little arty touches, which is unbelievable given the speed that this is made, that, that any kind of inventiveness in the direction is there at all. But there is so much invention in this and that um sequence of all the clocks ticking down to armageddon it, it's like doctor who has an art house play you could very easily mock it but it is genuinely weird and suspenseful and just fucking odd uh i was just glued to the screen watching it um and you could kind of say that about this story as a whole. It's like the Doctor Who art house play. Uh, completely out there, doing its own thing. Lots of hidden messages and nuances. And uh, yeah, making no excuses for it. It is quite brilliant in its own way. Uh, easy to mock, perhaps, but completely unique. And that should be celebrated. So Kinder, give it a watch. There's a reason why so many Doctor Who fans love this.